pretty much the whole human race, all descendants of Adam and Eve being uh, under that curse. Well, that's where Yeshua came in. That's where Christ came in, taking upon the flesh of man, of all man, woman, and child. The flesh of man as the son of man and son of God, Elohim, taking upon that tainted flesh of Ha-Adam and crucifying that, allowing that to be crucified or sacrificed upon the cross through pure love and compassion. That portion of Yahweh in the earth is son of man or the Mashiach, making it possible for us to be that true new creation, that spiritual creation in Almighty God, Elohim. And even the spiritual foreshadowing and parallel of the Israelites before the actual literal Passover of the traditional geographical promised land uh, of Israel when, before it became the land of Israel but that actual crossing over to the land of Canaan becoming the promised land um, is also our spiritual parallel in the new covenant in, in Christ or in the Moshiach that gradual spiritual metamorphosis we go through you know, depending on a person's individual heart or spirit or mentality uh, is determined by how fast that process really takes place you know in our own personal lives as true born again believers but that goes back to the original closure of many segments ago when I talked about the parable an actual parable of Yeshua about the seeds and about those seeds who fell amongst good soil fairly good soil but it grew up among thorns the lures of the world and the things of modern counterfeit religion and Christianity or so-called Christianity that choke the word of Elohim and not just modern religion but in a universal sense wealth money vanity materialism pagan worship subliminal idolatry everything we've talked about in these previous past three or four segments or the thorns that choke the word to get so-called you know born again believers even people who are born again and saved in due time caught up in that caught up in that comfort zone you know the world to where they can't really complete that spiritual metamorphosis according to our father's will to be true spiritual seed of Abraham or the true spiritual body of Moshiach and more than likely what many people and many philosophers refer to as the 85% of those who are deaf, dumb, and blind. Many of that percentage is those caught up in the thorns who, you know, may be saved in due time. You know, as spiritual born-again believers as far as the new covenant or the gospel-based faith. But then even those who are just straight-up pagan majority of atheist or agnostic people in the world. You know, just of the flesh, not even spiritually baptized or born again of spirit. Or should I say born again of above? You know, there's just that flesh. Um, granted, we're all spirits as human beings. And even those of us who are born again and even true, fully anointed, born again believers, we're all in this present life in these bodies of flesh and blood. You know, we're all human beings and we're all individual spirits of free will. Now... The flesh is the flesh, and that's why even as true disciples and born-again believers, just like non-believers, we are in the flesh of blood, in these present human bodies on earth, you know, from the dust and the cursed ground of Mother Earth, since Ha-Adam, or the first Adam and Eve, the first man and woman. Um, from that first original Earth age, you know, in the Garden of Eden, deceived and Having to pay, you know, having to face that penalty because of sin, because of the curse of sin, which is death, you know, sickness, pain, all these things we endure, even in, even in this second world age, in this present life. Okay, that's basically that's basically our cross we have to bear in this life, even as true born again children of Yahweh on this earth. But um, as it said. You know, some of these seeds, when a true messenger, a true, a true witness, a true high priest or prophet or apostle or whatever, is speaking of straight up divine truth of Jah Kingdom. You know, allowing the fullness of 
the Holy Spirit to speak through them and plant seeds. Some of those seeds of light and divine truth fall amongst the path, but the birds quickly eat them up. And unfortunately, that's the majority of even the uh, what they call the 85% or the majority percentage of that, that percentage. And then others, um, they kind of have potential in due time. They're like, well, other seeds fell amongst rocky soil where they kind of knew there was some genuine truth when they hear the truth and they receive it with joy like oh this is it but as soon as persecution arises they fall away immediately the sun scorches the root and then you have those who are caught up in you know fairly good soil but the, it's the thorns of the world that, that choke the true word of Elohim and stop that true spiritual growth and potential and then you have other seeds and the completion of that original parable that fall amongst good soil, you know, growing and multiplying, you know, to spread other seed to the true kingdom of Yahweh. Those who keep the commandments of Yahweh and hold the testimony of Yeshua. Of course, Yeshua himself spoke to his disciples and said, I've come not to abolish the law, but fulfill. We could even see the original Hebrew Israelites and the original Yehudaites as our spiritual ancestors because we, through this spiritual covenant, through this spiritual new covenant in Yehoshua, um, are spiritually grafted in to Yahweh's people, you know, to Jah people upon the earth, both in spirit and and in flesh so regardless of whether we're original Hebrew Israelites lost tribe of you know lost tribes of Israel the original black Hebrew Israelites a modern Hebrew speaking Jew Arab Gentile Chinese you know South American whatever um, you know Caucasian albino whatever is true spiritual born-again believers in Yahweh's salvation and the true Yehoshua HaMashiach aka Jesus Christ the Savior in that first advent um, we are a spiritual seed of Abraham we are the true spiritual Israel but you know even in the new covenant many are called but few are chosen so that's those who are truly of Yahweh's elect the chosen amongst the chosen to really be the true body of Christ or the true body of the Moshiach those who properly overstand true spiritual submission and genuine faith and true reverence to the Father's will see you later.